back to the show. Got a great recipe to share with everybody at home. The thing I like about most about this, number one, inspired by her trip to BC, but the other points are it's simple and it doesn't take many ingredients. We are joined by Sarah Roberts, who is the founder of SarahTalksFood.com. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so Great much. to have you here. Welcome Thanks back to me. welcome back home. Yes. How was BC? It was fantastic. Yeah. We loved it. It was just the most amazing experience to get to just uh, you know tour the the area, go to different areas, and uh, also to try the seafood, which was amazing. I can imagine. Fresh out of the ocean. It's one of those things, right? Where we, whenever we think of going on vacation, we think of leaving our own country and. Staying in your own country you is do just it. amazing, mm -hmm. right? If it isn't the, on your bucket list, and if you haven't been out west, I think it should be on everybody's bucket list that lives in yeah, Canada, for sure. It's on mine, for sure. Fantastic. What are, what are you preparing? I said you were inspired by your yes, trip. Right. What are we making today? So we're going to make salmon. And okay. the thing is, with recipes for me, I knew, you know, everyone's busy. I'm yes. busy, you're busy. Mm -hmm. And I want to make recipes at home that are simple, that are fast, and that are healthy. But they have right. to taste good, too. Mm -hmm. So I like to do those that, that combination. And I like to use common ingredients that we always have kind of on hand. Okay. So a couple of things we're going to do today today is we're going to talk about a nice salad that you can put together easily and we're going to make salmon and it's one of my favorite recipes with rosemary. Okay. And right now All fresh right. herbs are, are growing everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everyone's growing fresh herbs and that's great. Uh, so we can talk about that too. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, the dressing that I make. For a salad it's also a great veggie dip mm -hmm. and it's also a great marinade. Okay. So all I've done here is I've uh, combined one or two tablespoons of, balsa or, sorry, of apple cider vinegar, of Dijon mustard, and then you're going to go ahead and throw oh, in some cracked perfect. peppers. Absolutely. Okay. You put in a bunch of cracks. It depends on how much pepper that you like in your recipe. There we go. Okay, well, Apple cider. It, yeah. I've seen this before, mm -hmm. and it says with the mother. You must explain what that with means. With the mother. It yeah. sounds kind of disgusting. It sounds really <laughs> no, strange. It sounds I'm not going to lie to you. With so the with the mother just simply means that the protein structure is intact, and it means that all of the healthy enzymes that we want in vinegar are still there. Oh. Okay. That's all. You don't want the filtered okay. stuff. You don't want the you know refined stuff. Right. You want the natural. Okay. okay. Um, and then olive oil. So I'm going to get okay. you to go ahead. I can do that too. You can do that. Perfect. So you're going to slowly drizzle. I like using a mug to make my dressings and my marinades mm -hmm. because I find that I'm kind of in control. So nice slow right. drizzle. That's lots. So stop okay. there. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of quickly whisk it around. Ooh, okay. And that's kind of coming together. So with, all that's together great. we're going to want to have about a tablespoon. So okay. you can do a little bit more. A little more olive oil? Okay. Yep. But slow. Nice and slow stream. And that's going to be awesome. Organic yeah, that's olive great. oil, I that's see perfect. here too. Yeah, organic extra virgin olive oil. I love anything organic, as everyone knows. <laughs> everyone knows I also love Costco, so I buy this brand at Costco. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil is full of polyphenols, which are, are known to help to reduce inflammation in the body. Mm -hmm. So they're just super healthy that way. And Dijon mustard is just a great emulsifier. If you're ever frustrated because your dressings are always separating in the fridge and you're always having right. to shake them yeah. up, use a little bit of Dijon mustard oh, and it keeps I like it all that. together. Okay. That's a great so that's, great that's basically become nice and thick with that extra addition of the um, of the olive oil, and so yeah. that would be a perfect marinade. So that's okay. what we've done over here. We've basically taken oh, a piece of right salmon. Yeah, so what you do is you just take maybe in a Ziploc bag or just on a plate, and you're going to smear it with this marinade. You're going to okay. let it sit for at least 20 minutes. If you've got overnight, even better. Mm -hmm. right. I wouldn't let it sit more than overnight. You mm -hmm. don't want the acid in the vinegar right. to deteriorate the, the flesh of the salmon. Okay. So all you then do is then take some fresh rosemary, and again, people are growing it right now, mm -hmm. and it's fabulous. But I often will just buy it if I haven't been growing it. Mm -hmm. So this is the way I buy it, and you can pop it right in the freezer. And you oh, can really? use no it frozen way. so it doesn't go bad. Wow. Yes. Ah, that's brilliant. That's yeah. another process. Because it's frustrating. Yes. You always buy so much more than you need, right? right? And then it's it hard to bad. go through all of this oh really goodness, quickly. I mean, you hardly need any. Mm -hmm. um, and so the way to peel it is you just sort of, you know, you can start at the top, but you just sort of peel down oh. and you get these little guys. Amazing. And so all you're going to do is then after you've marinated your salmon, you're going to throw this rosemary on top when you're ready to bake it. Okay. Bake it in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes, depending on how well done you that's like your that long. salmon. No, oh. wow. it's not that long. You no. could be eating seafood. What exactly. I like about seafood, yeah. it's so quick. Well, and the other great right. thing is that I often will just grab a free, um, like I separate it into um, into portions and I throw right. it in the freezer. Oh, okay. And you can marinate it frozen. Oh. Okay. You can even cook it frozen. Right. But that's hey. another nice thing about seafood Absolutely. is you can cook Eating it. Eating on the go. Cook. Nice, healthy, delicious. For and you're sure. going to pair this up with a salad. Oh, well, right. I'm thinking that that would be a nice thing. So we roasted up some, asper or some uh, zucchini, sorry. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I love, you know, right now again, nice and fresh. Everyone's yeah. got it at the farmer's market, so you can find it readily. Um, I just like to roast it in the oven just with a little bit of olive oil, salt, mm -hmm. and pepper. And I threw on a little bit of rosemary just because mm -hmm. we're kind of on that theme on that thing. Exactly. Yeah. Delicious. So what I want to do is this is your bowl of salad. You two are going to get to decide oh, what you want right. on your Dang. on your salad. So we've got um, raw salad pumpkin bar. seeds. These are also known as pepitas. Um, pepitas. Very pepitas. Nice. Okay. <laughs> We've got some peppers, some yellow and orange peppers. We've got fresh blueberries. I love any kind of fresh fruit in my salad yeah. as well as sort of the, sort of the, the sweet and tangy. Yeah. yeah, balance. 
and uh, just some nice grape tomatoes and some cucumber, as well as my sweet and spicy nuts. And those, Ooh, that recipe is oh. also on my uh, on my blog too. Okay. They're super addictive. I'm I'm reaching for the tomatoes Do first it. because okay. they're my fave. All right, go for put it. Some in here. Obviously, you can slice them up, but again, I'm usually in a rush, so I often just throw them in whole. In whole. And okay, then what do you want in the salad? You, you hmm. choose one too. What do you yeah. want? Yeah. So you think tomatoes and blueberries will go well together? I love it. See, I would never have mm. thought that. It's All amazing. Right. I'm excited about yep, this. Tomatoes are a fruit. I'm sure you know that. Of so course. they kind of have that nice sweetness too. True. So the cool thing about that marinade that we made is um, if we had maybe uh, used a little bit less olive oil, it would have become a dressing. And so right, I love... Right, that's going to ask. Yeah. Okay. So again, these same three ingredients. You may not want to have all of these same three ingredients in one meal. Mm -hmm. You might want to spread it out to a few meals. But I often have this as a go-to salad dressing. Yeah. It's amazing. always in my fridge. Great idea. Yeah, I love it. All right. Fantastic. I'm going to follow. Oh, yes, that's yeah. a great Those question. are kind of a guilty pleasure, and those are I'm actually leaving with you and throw on your desk. Yeah. So that's well, These are the things we just yeah. snack on mm. when we make the salad. Totally. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I understand you don't preach yourself as like a self-proclaimed chef or anything nope. like that, but you're very passionate about food. Mm -hmm. How do you describe that? What brought you to that anyway? So I think I'm just somebody who about 13 years ago, if you know my story at all, I got sober and I kind of went to mm. food. I went to right. food and fitness and I really wanted to become a healthier person. So I started looking to food to, dis to, you know, to really change my personality, really. Mm -hmm. I started to really look at it as something that I could really grab onto and say, right. you know what, if I'm not going to drink and I'm going to be this kind of person, then I want to be healthy. Right. You know, yeah. I want to do all the things that I can do to be a healthy mm -hmm. person. So I really want to look at food as nourishment. I want it to do Respect something good body. for my body. For sure. Wonderful. But it also has to taste really good. I mean, I do yes. I do understand that, too. How much time do we have? One minute? Okay. I want to talk about your blog, too. Yeah, and I made right. a potato salad, too, with the Woo. same dressing. So nice. Oh, nice. Basically, that same marinade can be used. Oh, and instead that's of great. using, like, thick and unhealthy mayonnaise, like that, like the first lady was talking yeah. about, you don't want to use that. You want to use this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, saratoxfood.com, people can go there. Um, they can enter their name and email, and you get access to all of the recipes and lots of fun freebies and fantastic. anything else that I'm doing. You can follow with. Sarah. She goes, like, a trip through the Costco. Yes, that's right? right. That's what your latest video that I watched yes. was so much fun. You have so much courage walking through the <laughs> stores. But you, you, ta you tell everybody why you're choosing each item that, that you bring along. And then, of for course, sure. you send out tips and recipes. And Did I learned three amazing pro tips here already. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to take them home. And the interview yeah. that we did, I just wanted to say quickly, Sarah, the, the feedback that I've gotten has just been absolutely spectacular. And I can't thank you enough for it sitting down that was an I amazing can't thank experience you enough. honestly i really can't thank you enough honestly i feel like this blog is it's growing more than just the food side it's yeah. it's soul food as well and uh, and i really appreciate appreciate that time my pleasure sarahtalksfood.com visit it yes. sign up for her blog to get the newsletters and so forth we will see you tomorrow thanks for watching